And, uh, and just one last uh, question I get, uh, perhaps because uh, he's a prominent evangelical Christian, uh, there's a man named Francis Collins, who is the director of the National Institutes of Health, um, a very uh, good scientist who led the team that identified the cystic fibrosis gene. And he wrote a book a while back called The Language of God. And in it, he talked about uh, what we've discovered in biology, and he uh he was critical of intelligent design and he proposed what's kind of loosely called theistic evolution. That is God sort of knew what was going to develop, but he was not, um, he was not involved directly or in detail in, in uh, saying how organisms might be built. So people say to me, you know, why, uh, uh, why are you not convinced by Dr. Collins's arguments? And it's interesting that if you look, read his book, he does say that um, that he's skeptical of intelligent design, but he does not tr even try to address the problems for Darwinian evolution that I and other intelligent design proponents have brought up. Instead, many Christians just think it would be neat. It would be the coolest thing if God would just make life this way by creating some general laws and then everything falls out from that. Well, maybe it would be cool, but my degree is not in theology. So I'm just a, a humble biochemist. So I have to look at what we discover and say, can that arise by random processes? And every, uh, every indication says, no, that, that's very, very unlikely.